Prime Minister Modi hailing Supreme Court's cash for votes judgment as well that has come just about a short while ago, uh, giving no immunity. And that all of these, whether legislators, whether the MLAs or the members of parliament, will be liable to prosecution if found guilty of accepting a bribe to cast their vote. Prime Minister Modi has said verdict will ensure clean politics. The verdict will deepen uh, the faith of people in the system. So that's the... Uh, that's, that, that's what Prime Minister Modi has said and the Supreme Court basically has now overturned the 1998 verdict that had earlier been with regard to five JMM MPs. This was the case of 1993 of uh, uh, P.V. Narsimha Rao's government when the, he had, despite a minority, managed to come back to uh, the government and, and save the numbers because of JMM voting. But there was the allegation of a bribe that they had taken. At that point, they had the immunity. Supreme Court had upheld it, but now Supreme Court has said no. There will be a prosecution if the charges are found to be true. Polomi Saha for the latest on that. Polomi, very interesting that uh, uh, CGI uh, to say that bribery will not be protected by parliament privilege and prime minister accepting it. Give us more details about how this will be seen in the political corridors and tell us more because for this, at least the bribe will have to be proven in the first place, isn't it? That they have taken to cast their vote and amid a lot of cross-voting, this could be an issue. Well, uh, this basically paves the way for any sort of prosecution to, in fact, uh, take place if, in fact, uh, you know, it is held uh, that, you know, a vote was uh, cast or a speech was made which, in fact, uh, was induced uh, by bribery by a member of parliament or a member of a legislative assembly. The Prime Minister's first reaction that is uh, coming in, which, of course, is, uh, 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 you know, welcoming this decision of uh, the seven-judge Constitution bench of the Supreme Court, uh, and he says, and I quote him over here, Swagatam, a great judgment by the Honorable Supreme Court, which it will ensure clean politics and deepens people's faith in the system. So a landmark judgment uh, today by the seven-judge Constitution bench of uh, the Supreme Court, which in fact uh, has uh, now held, as you said, that taking, uh, you know, there will be no immunity for MPs and MLAs who are taking bribes for voters or for votes or speeches in the legislature. So this is extremely uh, significant. Uh, of course, uh, there will be ramifications uh, for many across uh, the board as well. And it remains to be seen, of course, so we are awaiting uh, reactions uh, to come in from across uh, the political circles. But the Prime Minister, of course, one of those who's uh, you know, reacted immediately to this uh, judgment, possibly will speak about it when he makes uh, his speeches as he is in Telangana mm -hmm. today. Very interesting. Polomi Saha telling us what this really means in terms of political corridors. And just to help you understand what exactly happened this morning, the Supreme Court pronounced a verdict in the legislator's immunity case. Now, this is a verdict with regard to 1998. Basically, the top court of the country, in a unanimous judgment, ruled that lawmakers will be liable to be prosecuted if they are proven to have received bribes for vote or speech in the House. The Supreme Court overruling its own judgment, it was in the 1998 case, that bribery is not protected by parliamentary privilege now, is what it said, that legislators taking bribe is, uh, is absolute. So they had immunity earlier, even if there was an allegation of taking bribe to make a speech or cast a vote for any of the proceedings. Now the court has also said immunity given now is only for free exchange of ideas in parliament. Members in the house must be free from fear or favor from outside influence. So let's go back to 1998 for a second. It was a five-judge bench of the Supreme Court that had ruled that whether it's parliamentarians or MLAs, they have total immunity in all matters related to the voting in the House, which meant they were immune to prosecution if they were found to have taken a bribe. Prime Minister Modi welcomed the judgment right away and has put out a statement saying swagatam, welcome, and that the judgment by the Supreme Court will ensure clean politics and deepen people's faith in the system. We hold that bribery is not protected by parliamentary privilege for the following reasons. The words anything and any, when read with their respective operative words, mean that a member may claim immunity to say as they feel and vote in a direction that they desire on any matter before the House. These are absolutely outside the scope of interference by the courts. The wide meaning of anything and any, read with their companion words, connotes actions of speech or voting inside the House or committee, which are absolute. The phrase in respect of applies to the collective phrase anything said or any vote given. The words in respect of means arising out of or bearing a clear relation to 
this may not be overbroad or be interpreted to mean anything which may have even a remote connection with the speech or vote given. We therefore cannot concur with the majority judgment in P.V. Narsimha Rao. The purpose and object for which the Constitution stipulates powers, privileges and immunity in Parliament must be borne in mind. Privileges are essentially related to the House collectively and necessary for its functioning. Hence, the phrase in respect of must have a meaning consistent with the purpose of privileges and immunities. Articles 105 and 194 of the Constitution seek to create a fearless atmosphere in which debate, deliberations and exchange of ideas can take place within the Houses of Parliament and the state legislatures. For this exercise to be meaningful, members and persons who have a right to speak before the House or any committee must be free from fear or favour induced into them by a third party. Members of the legislature and persons involved in the work of the committees of the legislature must be able to exercise their free will and conscience to enrich the functionings of the House. This is exactly what is taken away when a member is induced to vote in a certain way, not because of their belief or position on an issue, but because of a bribe taken by the member. Corruption and bribery of members of the legislature erode the foundation of Indian parliamentary democracy. It is destructive of the aspirational and deliberative ideals of the Constitution and creates a polity which deprives citizens of a responsible, responsive and representative democracy.